Hey, what's up internet and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are doing a super fun interview with a good friend of mine, Katrina Dimarana. Katrina is a beauty queen, TV host, actress, and just last year, she got the chance to be on season one of the CBS hit show, Love Island. She got to explore love, make some great friends, and have an all around blast on the beautiful island of Fiji. Season two of Love Island recently had its season finale and Katrina is joining us to talk all about love island and all of the many endeavors she has going on in her very busy life hey katrina how's it going hey austin how are you i'm doing great so katrina and i we go way back back in 2016 four years ago we auditioned for tfc together and we've known each other ever since and i have to say it's so incredible yeah. just to see everything you've been up to i mean you're always out there doing big things and one of those big things is Love Island, USA season one. I got to ask you, what made you decide to apply to be on Love Island? I had just finished um, doing a pageant and all these things. And I honestly didn't know at first that it was Love Island. There was like a casting for like to travel somewhere and all this. And I was like, oh my God, it's going to be like a modeling thing. Like totally, like you never know. And then I put my submission in and then I didn't even know to like later, later that this was the Love Island show. I had to like do my research. So it was just so out of the blue, like so... I. It just came out of nowhere. I know it must have been so weird to be the season one guinea pigs. And I know you got to travel all the way out to Fiji. Can you tell us a little bit about what that experience was like? It honestly was so unforgettable. I mean, I would not trade it for the world. It was so much fun, but it was just crazy because as soon as we landed in Fiji, now keep in mind, we travel with a chaperone. They like fly to wherever you are and then you guys fly to Fiji together. So as soon as we landed, um, my chaperone, she had to take, shout out to Casey, she had to take my phone and she was like, you have 30 minutes to call your family and friends and tell them that you're going to be gone for like, who knows, a month or longer. So I didn't have my phone the whole time. But what's nice was they put us in a really, really nice resort in Fiji before we were thrown into the show. Fiji is so beautiful. I went parasailing there my first time at that resort and then I got in trouble for it. I mean, it sounds like a vacation to me. Um, and you know, I absolutely loved watching you on the show. You were so much fun, easily one of my favorite Islanders. I may be a little biased. Um, biased. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a good kind of bias, but I wanna know, like, do you have like a behind the scenes secret the audience didn't get to see? Oh, okay. One thing was there was an episode where I was shown crying, right? Like I broke down and I even told myself, I was like, okay, don't cry on the show. But that night I cried. And when I rewatched the episode, they kind of made it, I felt like it was seen as like I was crying over a guy or over a relationship. But it wasn't that at all. That night, I like something triggered in me. I think it was because I was just missing my family and like me being the sole, like, you know, I provide for my family and I support them. So being away from them, it was a lot. I really missed them. And the reason why I actually broke down was because of family, family thoughts and issues. And then I was questioning myself and sort of like a self discovery type thing. And I remember that night, like everyone already went to bed the producers pulled me out of the villa and like they were just trying to comfort me and they're like rubbing my back and they're just like it's okay and all this and you know i really did tell them i was like i feel like i would be ready to go if if anything and they don't show that um in the episodes at all and i felt like i wanted to get that out there and get it cleared up because like one i rarely cry over a guy and so like i was like i don't want people to think that that was me crying over a guy it was really just over like family issues and more personal things. I'm sure the emotions that come with being on the show must be so overwhelming. So I'm glad you cleared that up because that makes a lot more sense. So I'm sorry that you cried, but I mean, I think with everything that comes along with it, that definitely is a fair reaction. Now, moving on to season two, which actually just wrapped up this season. I know you've been keeping up with it. And I want to ask you like how different your experience on season one was compared to season two, which is now in Las Vegas. Oh my God. Well, okay. And I have said this before and I'm not taking it back. I feel like I love season two way more than season one, even though I'm part of season one. I just feel like there's just so much more like drama, which makes good TV, obviously. The guys and the girls were both in there to actually try to 
find a connection and and you know hopefully end up with someone whereas my season I feel like all the guys were it was like friend island it was like bromance island they were all about each other no one was really willing to step on anyone's toes everyone was just so coupled up right away and not willing to branch out and get to know other people that it was kind of like I felt like it was more of like friendly vibes whereas season two as you saw I don't know if you've been watching the episodes but there's so much drama people will like leave the person they're with because like one conversation like one conversation changes their decision and then they end up recoupling with like a new guy or a new girl and a lot of people don't understand but you only have so much time in there so I feel like you have to do that you really have to just get to know everybody and so it's it's so different in that sense and the winners congrats to Justine and Caleb I was team Jaleb from day one I was team Justine from day one so I'm like I was so excited. I was crying during the finale last night. <laughs> and I know you've been a huge supporter of them from the very beginning. You've mentioned them on Adobe Nation. And so yeah. <laughs> when I saw that they won, I'm just like, oh my God, Katrina is probably livid right now. So congrats to them. Congrats to you for your team winning. And so, you know, it was a really crazy season. I'm glad that you touched on the drama because I thought that was a very distinct difference from your season. So, I mean, you know, Love Island is one of the many things that you're busy with. I mean, on top of being a beauty queen, an actress, a TV host. Outside of the show, can you tell us a little bit about all of these other endeavors that you have going on? Some things that I don't post about too often is actually when I made the move out here to stay and live with my boyfriend, I actually switched majors because I'm, I'm in school. If for those who didn't know, I went back to school. I took a break for the pageant and then I went back, but now I'm doing nursing. And, you know, they might say, oh, typical Filipino, but I just feel like, especially during the pandemic, I felt like the, the medical field was something that didn't really lose um, a lot of like jobs and, you know, it didn't really affect them too much, whereas other jobs were affected. And then, you know, my boyfriend's a nurse and so a lot of my cousins, my friends, my brother. So that's something that I do want people to know is that you can always go a different route. Props to you. I think it's super awesome because, you know, you and I, that's something we have in common being in college, enjoying all the struggles that come with Zoom University. And so that's something we can definitely relate to. And props to you for getting into nursing. I think it's something that's absolutely always been essential, but more so now with everything going on in the world. If you could be on any reality show, what would it be? And could we possibly see that in the near future? Oh, my God. Um. Okay, so... A reality show that I would like to be on is probably um, The Circle on Netflix, The Challenge on MTV. I feel like I would totally want to do that because it's like not only physical, but like mental and emotional things. And I'm like so ready for that. Like I'm done with like the whole trying to find love and dating and guys like I want to do something that I'm actually really truly enjoy and like I'm passionate about which is to like travel everywhere and do crazy fun things and win. <laughs> Katrina thank you so much for taking time to do this interview it was so great catching up with you and I just love sharing everything that you're doing keep doing what you're doing because you're always doing big things and you are going to succeed in everything you do if you want to check out too, Katrina bro. oh thank you I appreciate it we're you know mutual love I love it you can hit her up over on Instagram YouTube and of course a donation on the Filipino channel thank you so much for joining us for this super fun interview with Katrina Dimarana if you did like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe and bell button below and I will see you on the internet. So we have to make our own breakfast, but lunch and dinner is actually catered. We get to eat like a buffet, but we're not allowed to eat with our couple and we're not allowed to talk about our emotions or anything. So yeah, we have to like keep that in 